We take you live right now to Carissa Cullen, who, as the music got started there at the CMAs last night, had an enviable position of being backstage to watch what was happening as you maybe were watching at home um, what was happening on stage. And that sometimes behind the stage is where the good stuff happens. And you get to know what are people really like in between all the performances. What stuck out in your brain, Carissa? Welcome. Hi, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, this is such a fun night. And the biggest part about the CMAs is that it is a party. Everyone is showing up, having a great time. Everyone's in the best mood at this show because people haven't seen each other in such a long time. They're just so happy to get together. Of course, it's nice if they win. That makes things extra special. Mm -hmm. But in the most part, everybody's in such a good mood. Carrie Underwood went on stage. She got emotional. If you've ever been pregnant, you've been there. You know what it <laughs> feels like. And I've been there. She also got emotional backstage whenever she was talking about her award. And she, you know, that emotion was there. She was so excited to win. You know, she's won Female Vocalist of the Year so many times, but it still seems to really touch her, which was a great moment. I love that we found out that she's having a baby boy. That is very big news and very exciting. Yeah. Brad, that's course, a gender reveal that's hard to top. Live on stage yeah. at the CMAs. I know, <laughs> I know, right? You can't compete with that. But this is Carrie Underwood, so we can't compete with her in a lot of things. Um, no, um, was your position, were you like, I, I get this picture, in my mind, you were like behind the velvet curtain kind of peeking out. But were you like in a press room and where everyone comes back to talk after they have already been gifted their awards? Yes, so exactly. So what happens is after they win their award, they come backstage. They're given like a fake trophy to stand and pose with because the real one will get mailed to them. And they come back and they talk to the press. They do their big stand-up interviews. And then they walk around and talk to each individual outlet. I will say mm -hmm. the one guy who never misses talking to every single press outlet because he is so dedicated to his fans is Garth Brooks, the biggest star. You know, he always takes the time to talk. I loved his performance last night. Here's a little tidbit. So the song he performed was called Stronger Than You. And he wrote it for Trisha Yearwood. He had never sang it for her before. She had never heard it before. So that was the first time she got to hear it on stage. He broke down in tears while he was performing. She was tearing up while he was performing. And he came backstage and he was like, I had to try to keep it together. I just stared at Jason Aldean the whole time because I was trying not to cry the whole time. <laughs> Here we thought he was staring at Trisha. Was Jason Aldean sitting behind Trisha? Uh, he was sitting right next to her, and he goes, and then I started to think, Jason has to be thinking I'm really weird for staring at him during this song. Well, for the um, folks who didn't see it, moment. Carissa, um, this song ends with um, the emotion that you say to your loved one, I hope you go first in life because you're mm -hmm. stronger than me, and I could never survive without you. So I know, um, I know. Yeah, different than looking at Jason uh, than your yeah. wife. Yeah. <laughs> Such a beautiful sentiment, right? I know. You're like, okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was amazing. Of course, you know, when Keith Urban won, that was another huge moment for everybody. We were all so excited. The last time he won Entertainer of the Year was 2005. And it has been long awaited, overdue. We've been wanting Keith Urban to win. If there's any artist that, you know, this award means so much to it's Keith Urban. So there are a lot of so couples in country music too, Carissa. That you just love yeah. watching the reactions for each other, and that's one country, uh, that's one couple um, that falls in line with that as well. That you just love to see the joy that they have for each other as they win. Carissa Connor, mm -hmm. I like seeing your joy too. I, I don't know how you got any <laughs> sleep. You. I know you didn't get any sleep. No, I'm I'm half asleep right now. But <laughs> but it was yeah. such a fun night. You know, I'm happy to talk yeah. about it. This is so fun. Yeah, I, I like the raspy voice. Um, however, you <laughs> you have fun at the honky tonk today, okay? I will. I'll do my best. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Robin.